Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial, episode 69. Today we're going to look at pre-get posts and double, uh, I guess, double meta query arguments. So what we have here is an e-commerce site. We want to restrict products. We've added a meta box, and there's two users in here for testing. This product is not limited. What we want on the front end is, if you're not signed in, you shouldn't see any of the restricted products. If you are signed in, you should be able to see all the products that have been restricted to you and every other product. One caveat about pre-get posts is that it will work on any query in WordPress whatsoever. So you can see I've added right here, if is admin return. That means that if we're in the admin, I don't want it to work. And let's look at our query. I'll comment a few things and we'll talk through our arrays. So this is a standard meta query and this would work in the WP query object or in get posts. And what this says is my first array get me any uh, key restricted to that has that doesn't exist. Now WordPress has a bug in it where you actually have to put something as a value there for not exists. So I want to get it when the key doesn't exist. My second one says get me when the key restricted to equals the current user ID. And my first thing here is relation or so it means get me one with posts matched one or the other. I want them all. Theoretically, this should work. Uh, it works as WP query object or as get posts. But when I refresh, you see I get every post. So let's test it quick, singly. I'll comment that out. And so now I should only get posts that are restricted to my user ID. And you can see I do. And if I reverse some of this, I'll comment out my second array. I'll comment out my second array. And that right there too. Now I'm only getting posts that have no restrictions whatsoever. But I can't get them all. I'll show you again. I'm not getting them all. Now I get all posts. That's not what I want because I can see posts that are limited to other users. So what do we do? First thing we need to do is we're going to kill our relation or and we're going to kill our first array, our second array. So now this should give me only posts that are not restricted. That's great. That's what I want. And now I'm going to do if is user logged in. Remember that we need the user ID um, to figure out which posts are allowed to a certain user. And so if they're not logged in, they don't have a user ID. So we don't want to do this next bit of code. I'm going to add filter posts where, and this allows us to adjust the where clauses inside WordPress, uh, actually at the SQL level, the MySQL level. Let me see what I've called my function. Not remove posts restricted. It is so now we have a function for called custom where and this allows me to adjust the where SQL clauses inside WordPress. So what this does is it creates a global of the WPDB, which is our WordPress database global. And then I get the user ID, and now I'm adding to my where statement. I'm saying or, so again, if we look up top, get keys that have no restriction, or get it where the post meta key is restricted to, and the post meta value is user ID. Now something you need to do is make sure you remove the filter after, because we don't want this to run. Technically, I actually limit my query a few more ways because I only want this to be for WooCommerce products. So it's actually limited for is admin, is main query, and the product type that I want. So, and then I remove my custom wear filter. If I don't do that, then it's going to show up on other things like in the sidebars, or it's just going to. It's going to show up in funny spots we don't want. So I remove it after I've run it. And then I return my where clause. So that's actually adding my the where clause to my SQL queries inside WordPress. So now let's save that. And we can refresh. 
there we go. I see the one product that's limited to me and the two products that have no restrictions whatsoever. And that's how we can achieve a proper meta query using two different keys or two different arrays. If we had more parameters, if we had more or options, we could literally just tack them on here as a second line in our where clauses. Thanks for watching.